Okay, this is me, Doc here. I'm going to be doing a live setup of Google Drive, uh, just to show you how easy it is. I uh, never tried this before, so we'll be doing this together. I think I'll just do more of these videos. It's kind of fun. Anyway, so I'll pop in uh, drive.google.com, and like I said in the vi previous video, if you have a hosted.com email on Google, or aka Google Pro Apps, you'll have access right away, even if it says your regular Gmail needs a rollout time. Anyway, so let's just press try Google Drive. So we click that, and it says install Google Drive for Mac. Now, my buddy Tim over there from uh, Tim Chatton on the YouTube or iWake podcast, he says right now, funny enough, the uh, application is only available for Mac. I find that to be slightly hilarious. Anyway, so of course you have to agree to Google's terms of service, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and press agree because I'm not scared of terms of service, but uh, you probably want to read it because it might say you have to give everything you own to Google. So anyway, if it says if you have trouble downloading, click here. Of course I don't. I click on Safari and it shows me that it's downloading. So uh, we'll go ahead and let that roll and I'll cut it here and pull it right back as soon as it's power. Okay, so Google Drive looks simple enough. Like most traditional Mac apps, you just drag it and pop it in the old applications folder it's going to copy itself to the applications folder as you can see it's only going to take a couple of seconds and then hopefully through the magic of launch bar which indexes like automatically whole different show i should be able to just type gd yep google drive launch bar is super gangster by the way just go ahead and press open let's move this out the way and it asked me for my password and it says sign into Google Drive. Okay, so put in my uh, password here. It says I'm signing in. There's a little icon up here at the menu bar. It says welcome to Google Drive. Of course, I'm going to send crash reports. That's always important to me. I'll click next. It says that it's a drive on the web. And let's check out the advanced setup here. I like this. Uh, just like Dropbox, it gives you the option to sync only certain folders. And it automatically syncs your Google Docs files, which is super cool. And you can say start automatically when your computer starts up. Um, if you want to move it to a different location, you can go ahead and do that. But I won't do anything advanced here. I'll go ahead and press finish because that's basically the normal setup. And you get a folder. It simply just says uh, Google Drive. So let's start by sticking in a file. This is a WAV file. And let's see how large this file is real quick. Um, it's an 88 meg file. And it's uploading. So let's see if I give you any information. Uh, it tells me that I have five gigs here. It says you can buy more. I wish, like, uh, same thing I always hope for Dropbox too. There was a better indicating indicator of the files uploading, like how much more time they're going to take. I don't really see that yet. I'm going to open preferences and give a look, see here. And it's basically the same stuff that we saw in advance. But let's check out something interesting. Let's check out what happens if we buy more storage. So, storage capabilities. You can spend uh, $2.50 a month to move up to 25 gigabytes, which is basically, let's call it five bucks a month for 50 gigabytes, which puts it half the price of Dropbox because Dropbox is nine bucks a month for 50 and actually 9.99 so 10 bucks a month for 50 so this is actually about half price of dropbox um and i use dropbox pro i absolutely love it i love the way that they give you more storage by uh inviting users so for instance my dropbox account is up to about 74 gigs out of so i get about 25 gigs free uh let's see what happens if you want to upgrade to 16 terabytes <laughs> as as tim told me which i think is super funny this goes up to 800 bucks a month. You can have a 16 terabyte Google Drive, which is awesome because we could clone our Drobo <laughs> to the cloud, which would be super interesting. I don't know if I want to give them 800 bucks a month yet, though. So anyway, uh, 200 gigabytes, nine bucks a month. Uh, wow. If Google Drive keeps up with Dropbox as far as uh, connectivity to apps, it might be a good switch because I would love 200 gigs versus uh, 75 for my 10 bucks a month but i pay my uh dropbox annually so I, it saves a little bit of money anyway so going back over here to google drive let me move this window out the way 
it's still syncing this file and it's only an 80 some odd meg file but i am working with a relatively fast upload so um you know if you know how to use dropbox you know what this is if you don't well here's a cheaper slightly larger way to start and probably if you already have a gmail account it's coming to you very soon if you do not and you have an account that say on a dot com for instance people who use clear aka clear wire your services run through google even though it says it's clear email you might check drive they might have it already because it looks like the google pro apps seems to have already had their drives folders anyway um yeah I think we can dive into this more once there's APIs. I don't think the actual just using a folder thing makes that big a difference from Dropbox, except for it's slightly cheaper or, you know, you're just already the anti Dropbox person because you listen to crazy stories in the news. Um, I think I'm going to use both because like my buddy Tim and I were discussing, you can never have too much space and an extra five gigs free. Who knows? I'm really dying to see the APIs and what's coming out with that. And like, you know, ability to serve web pages through it, you know, things of nature. Oh, as I'm rattling, you can see by this check mark, this file is officially on the drive. So let's move this out the window, go to the web interface, click on my drive and see if it shows up in here. Clicking on activity. Yes, you can see my file right there. Um, and I can start that file to remind myself. That's like, you know, Google, regular Gmail type stuff. This is kind of cool. Um, I wonder if I could share this with someone. Yes, you can. Uh, call it a Dropbox clone. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, uh, I hope you got something out of this video outside of watching me ramble on for about seven minutes here. But um, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, shoot me an email or just leave it in the comments. And I uh, hope you enjoy Look forward to seeing a lot more Google Drive videos as I learn more about this cool new toy from Google Labs. Aloha. Please press the like button and please subscribe.